So, we fought a campaign, and now it's time to fight a battle. Hopefully, there's still people here, but you know, you can never be too sure. Welcome to the Avatar Conquest mode. Okay. Here you will create and manage your very own personal Avatar General for use in battle. Let's start by cycling through the various armor and clothing options to set the look of your Avatar. You can further enhance his look by adjusting the color of armor and clothes with a color wheel. Once you are happy with the look and feel of your Avatar, give him a name and press the tick button to advance. Each avatar needs a banner to fly in battle. To create your personal banner, select a flag designed from the list of options, and then adjust its color to your taste. Your avatar will also need a home and man to fight for him. Take some time to choose a starting location on the map, as each province has its own benefits and rewards. When you're ready, click on the tick button to advance. I actually gonna take up here in Dante land. I don't know. Okay, but Suma is actually the uh, katana land in the uh, Shogun campaign. But you know, I I figure that I figure that I uh, yeah, came with the uh, hmm, two sword faction. One have to go to one. But you know, it really comes down to your taste. Do you like your cavalry to be good? Um. Do you uh, like to have good the spearmen? You you want to have good archers? You, you want a good swordsman? In my opinion, this I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen, but hey ho, this is actually the best option you can have because well, if you don't have the best of cav of uh, cavalry, well. Relax, you know, you can always have them in reserve. And if you don't have the best archers, relax, you will have them soon enough. And if you don't have the best spearmen to uh, protect to cavalry, well, relax, the <laughs> the Ashigaros can do that way better. I, I think that, uh, you know, the Yari. The Yari's got. The Garus even have spear wall. And they have 20. Uh, one well, what's it called a bonus of 20 versus cavalry so uh, you know these guys are only better if you want to fight you know infantry but then again these guys are gonna slaughter these guys um you know it doesn't really matter you know sure bow bush guys have more numbers but fire slowly do more less damage but you know these guys are fewer, and sure they are samurais, but hey ho. And as I said before, you know, if you happen to come up against an army of the Ashigarash Ghost, well, you know, these this won't really fucking matter. So this is the army management screen where you can create your army. To begin with, you have been given a selection of troops each with their own strengths on the battlefield. Double left click on a unit card to add that unit to your army. I think these and uh, those those guys have kind of the same uh, yeah, same stats. These guys are fucking cheap. Sure they worse than but, you know, they worse and they fewer. Sure, they will. Surely, no, they would not beat the shit out of these guys. They have less melee attack than the fucking. <laughs> what? Okay, they have charge bonuses better though, but you know, and a bit better armor. But 
Where are you gonna go with some expensive? to your army costs points. When creating an army for the first time, there are 5,000 points at your disposal. Over time, this number will increase, allowing you to field more and better units. Continue to add units to your army until you have used up as many points as possible. This will give you the strongest possible force for your first battle. Well, when you have made your selection, you should save your army using the save button, which will enable quick access to this saved setup in future. I remember when this when this was just filled with, you know, no, it wasn't that. It was the replay. I remember when the replay was just filled with a lot of victories and a lot of defeats, you know. Oh, it was glorious. This is the Avatar Conquest map, where battles are fought for ownership of land provinces and sea regions, along with their associated rewards. Your avatar has been placed in the province you selected earlier. Press the much made battle button to fight your first battle. So before I actually follow the samurai came out, this was actually one province, but I guess they wanted to split it just to say big fuck you. But you know, I have I have this, but you know, don't don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Hey ho and go. This is the much made battle setup panel. Yeah, you can modify general? your battle no, okay. settings to find an opponent. For now, you have been limited to 1v1 land battles. Press the Find Match button to begin matching with an opponent. Don't worry, it's just a tutorial. God damn it. I hope there's no bus This now. is the pre battle setup screen. Here, you can view the type, location, and other settings of the battle you are about to fight. For now, you have been matched against an AI army. If you wish to adjust the setup of your army, press the Modify Army button. Otherwise, press the Tick button to start the battle. So, you know, all right, Phil, there is no better map for a fallen samurai army than than rice field and here we go oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah um <laughs> don't don't mind this uh, you know my goodness the reason of that happening is that I had a fall of the samurai avatar selected not long ago as you saw I removed and uh, you know this one actually. So yeah, since I used the fall of the samurai army last time, that's what the game gonna remember for its uh, for my uh, general. So yeah, you know, I think he feels a little bit bit awkward. <laughs> like I don't belong here. Uh, okay. There we go, a nice flank protection. And let's go. Yes, run. All ass people. If I were a fall of the samurai army, I would have deployed on this side because this increased my rate of reload. And you know, if I happen to be in the vicinity, I will get ammunition and just hand it from my back. So you know, oh yeah, I forgot, oh, oh. I forgot that I actually start with those. Ah, oh, what else? But yeah, but so uh, these kind of depends on what your your army is. So uh, anyway, not much to do. 
The first one is always easy. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! I don't... No. We're gonna speed it up, because who wanna see this? My lord! <laughs> really, but... A glorious victory will soon be yours! And there we go. <laughs> Any casualties? <laughs> Question mark. Maybe some friendly flyer, who knows. Well done. You have won your first battle and gained enough experience points to level up your avatar. Experience is gained each time you fight a battle, regardless of whether you win or lose. When your avatar leveled up, he also gained a skill point. Press the skill tree button to advance to the avatar skill tree. Be careful here because I remember one time actually clicking up from it and actually let's go. Here in the avatar skill tree, you can spend the skill point you have just acquired in any of the specialized skill trees. Each tree allows your avatar to learn a variety of skills related to that tree. Take your time choosing your first skill. Once you're happy, press the tick button to advance. Let's see, I actually do remember that I used to do this. Select the back button to return to the Avatar Conquest map. Look at him standing there all proudly. <laughs> That's actually a look at replays, not a signal replay. Select right. the back button to return to the Avatar Conquest map. Select okay, the back so button to return instantly. to the Avatar Conquest map. It is time to start your conquest of Japan. Select your avatar by clicking and holding the left mouse button on his model, then drag him over one of the highlighted provinces before releasing the button. Okay, I actually will get more option if I move there, so you know. Excellent! You are now on your way to controlling a new province and claiming the reward it contains. Provinces rewards may be viewed by mousing over the province you are interested in with your mouse cursor. You will notice that your avatar has moved to a province containing a retainer. To claim this reward, you must now win a battle. Press the match made battle button. Now, press the find match button to be paired with an opponent. I think it would be like, yeah, these two... You have once more yeah. been matched against an AI army. If you wish to adjust the setup of your army, press the modify army button. Otherwise, press the tick button to start the battle. Actually, if you want to have a specific unit, you know, this early in the game, you know, to be upgraded, just pick a shitload of them, you know, like and mounted like in others or some shit like that. And chances are that, af yeah, after this battle, we will get a veteran. And <laughs> seeing how you only got those guys as uh, your army guys. You know, you will most certainly get one of those guys, so it's a free veteran of whatever you want to have. So, anyway... Oh, this one. I have good memories from Fall of the Samurai on this one. I think I actually managed to sneak my way up here once. Oh, well. Uh, oh, so many memories on this map. Oh, yeah! I can actually deploy my army first before telling you about that. But yeah, as I was going to tell you before this took all too long, I actually remember having uh, a lot of red bears actually. <coughs> you know, those guys with, uh, with you know, a red fucking uh, wig on their head, that's red. 
I actually remember charging up against a unit, like two or three units, maybe four even, up against like one, two, three, four, five, uh, whatever they would call, you know. But you know, and they, and my uh, opponent just told all the units to move down, which made, for some fucking reason, me lose a hell of a lot of troops. But lucky me, <laughs> very fucking lucky me, realized that you know I am losing a lot of troops. So I just drew a new order, new line, and oh yeah, hello. So uh, you know I actually managed to shoot him in the back <laughs> and uh, win that the battle that way. But you know I'm sure there were more than just that. The cannon, the clouds, I never really. Oh my god, it clouds. This battle is a very good reason why you really should be taking these guys instead. Hold on, what is going on? <coughs> General, what a simple fucking name, isn't it? <laughs> Well, yeah, here's why you should be taking Katana Samurai so over everything else, really. Because they will just slaughter the fucking Ashigaras. Bam, there we go. I actually remember <clears throat> when I had made a new army and I was matched against the player that had like a shitload of uh, a Shigaru unit like this. And you know, he just deployed there like, ah, oh, come and get me, come and get me. And I like, well, I have like four katana samurais. Fuck him, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> and you know, I just slaughtered the guy. I think it was like. Uh, casualty rate of 200, not 200, but you, okay, maybe 200, because there were a lot of other shit that's going on and costing men, and, uh, you know, it was like a 500 plus on his side, or her, I, I don't know, but, you know, it, it was just like, oh, Katana, no, it, it was like, yeah, having my, uh, the ton of samurai just wait sitting there like, oh, it's peasants with long spears, go get them. You know, it, it wasn't even like, oh, how are we gonna do this? It was, a, it was like, well, get them, go. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, good memory. You oh, have defeated the enemy and gained control of a new province. <laughs> that bow. I took even less. I took okay. I a took a bit more than has been unlocked and made available to you. Press the show retainers button to make use of this new reward. This is the retainer screen where all available retainers are displayed. Retainers are mainly used to boost your army's abilities on the battlefield, or serve as a penalty upon the army you are fighting. Having reached level 1 with your avatar, you may use two retainers in each battle you fight. But as your experience and your avatar's rank increases, more retainers may be fielded. To select a retainer to be used in your next battle, either double left click on a retainer icon, or drag and drop your chosen retainer onto the open retainer slot on the right hand side of the screen. Information about each retainer can be viewed by mousing over its icon with your mouse cursor. Select the tick icon to close this panel when ready. Alright, so these are actually, you know, for uh, the uh, the poor little 
bucks that uh, are Lone Sword and Yuri as a Gareth. Hmm. Right, so. Actually, there's one for every uh, branch here, so. Oh well. Um, why did I take this sword? Oh yeah, and casualties. Influence. Yes. You can actually make a clan, or you can choose a steam group to have as your clan. Select the back button to return to the Avatar Conquest map. Before continuing oh, with your quest to conquer Japan, you should explore the Avatar screen. Select the Avatar button from the toolbar. Hold on. Stop. I didn't mean to have that on. Uh, but yeah, uh, hold on. My avatar, I forgot This is that. the avatar the screen. Up. Here you can view the current progress of your avatar, customize his look, modify your moon, view armor sets, or select retainers for battle. Take some time to explore the avatar screen before pressing the conquest map button on the navigation toolbar to return to your conquest of Japan. I like to actually have a leadership general, you know, to have like leaders, mostly leadership, and then a little melee attack. Now let's see what you say. All right, so uh, what what I have to do? It is time to expand the selection of units available for battle. Select your avatar by clicking and holding the left mouse button on his... Excellent! Notice that your avatar has moved to a province containing a unit as its reward. All provinces where this is possible have a dojo building in them. Many dojos of the same type can be found across the map. By capturing each one, a new unit armed with that dojo's weapon type will become available. Press the much made battle button now to fight for this province. Okay, I have to get the uh, the no dashes first. My, my bad, I thought that I was gonna get a, a katana here that instantly. <laughs> Press the find match button to All be right, paired so. with an opponent. Oh no! You it's... have been matched oh. against an AI army once more. If you wish to adjust your retainer, do so via the Modify Retainers button. Otherwise, press the Tick button to start the battle. Righto. Oh, this oh, this map, I have so many good memories. I remember... One battle in particular, you know, when... Most most time when you're the fall of the samurai army here, you you basically just rush down here, you take cover, protect your flanks, and try and make your enemy unable to take these buildings from you. But you know, not always possible. So, um, <coughs> but you know, I remember on one battle, like I actually managed. I I uh, I do use white tigers from time to time when I. I don't have money, money for anything else. But you know, I remember actually sneaking up. I I, I have many many memories, but you know, oh, they're so confining with each other, you know. But anyway, I managed to actually just sneak up and just <laughs> take him from the side. Oh, or was it this side? Anyway, most of the battles are gonna happen like here and here, and then progressively go inwards. So, I think I actually gonna meet the, an AI with artillery now. Yeah, I will do that. So now it's going to actually having to be careful here or actually to rush. What? 
Yep, there we go. We have Yari. Yari Samurai, even. Hello. Two Yaris. Oh. Mashlocks. Mashlocks. Righto. What the range again? I can. I never. Oh, screw them. Oh, da what? Hold on. What the fuck is Dante doing down here? Dante is the start in the province where I actually started, so uh, shouldn't those be the guys that I met first? Question mark? I have no idea how you can get to change these things, but I'm sure there's a way. We're waiting, let's go. I remember there being one guy that thought that he could sneak a unit up front when I was playing playing as uh, Fall of the Samurai. And he, he moved one unit up here trying to take it, and I moved one unit down here to try and, you know, don't take this. So uh, it kind of became one of the sitting mass it matches that I am so accustomed to. Dumb move there, but our general is in grave danger, my lord. Oh, jeez, hey, that oh, yeah, maybe we should get out this way. Well, this was a fast one, kind of. Not really, but you know. Oh. Oh yeah, samurais. There are. Oh my god, matchlock samurai. Don't even get me started on the. Uh, on the uh, what the fuck are you named? The uh, matchlock monks. Oh my fucking goodness! I mean, that that's like quick the game right there. So you know. Oh yeah, horses cannot capture. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Ah, oh, horse actually decided to bugger off. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. I think I've taken at least 200 casualties now, or at least a hundred. A hundred and a little plus. There go. Excellent. You have defeated the enemy and gained control of a new province. <laughs> okay, so it appears that I actually did lose two hundred. And there we go, the Yari Cabaret. Father, good news. One of your units has proven themselves on the battlefield and been promoted to veteran status. Press the tick button to add it to your pool of veteran and hero units. I really did want samurai, but you know. Oh, goodness. Um. Select the back button to return to the Avatar Conquest map. Oh yeah, you can watch this. Yari Ashigaru provide excellent defense against enemy cavalry charges, but their tight formations leave them vulnerable to missile troops and skilled infantry units. Yari cavalry excel at chasing down a fleeing enemy, but suffer heavy losses when confronted by spearmen or missile troops. Right, so I actually did lose 200 guys. 
Looks very identical to what I lost to that guy that I talked about. Maybe I want some other shoes for this guy. The army management screen is brimming with new additions. Access it via the button on the toolbar. Before looking at the main unit, this is the veteran oh, oh. tug of the army management screen. Here, you can select veteran units, name, customize, and give them personal skill upgrades before adding them to your army. Select your new veteran unit by left-clicking on it. You will now notice that your veteran's information has been displayed on screen. You can now type a name into the dialog box below the unit's image or press the paintbrush button to customize it. Let's improve this unit by choosing a skill upgrade for it. Press the highlighted plus button. This is the veteran unit skill upgrade panel. As in the case of the avatar skill tree, skill points can be acquired by gaining battle experience. Some skills are currently locked and require various criteria to be met before they can be used. Mouse over skills to see how they imp as different skills have different costs. The new unit you acquired at the end of your previous battle can now also be selected to add to your army from the available unit roster tab. When ready, Press the Conquest Map button to return to the Avatar Conquest Map. You are now ready to take full control of Japan and its surrounding seas. A ship has been placed close to your starting province. This ship can be used to capture sea regions and allow you Avatar access to neighboring coastal provinces. With this in mind, New battle options and game modes have been made available to you. Match-made battles now allow you to search for opponents in naval, siege, and land battle types. Setup team mode allows you to play alongside your friends in battle. Battle list mode allows you to create your own customized battle against other human players. While clan conquest allows you to join or create a clan and fight with other players for control of Japan on an even greater scale. Japan is waiting to be conquered. Go forth and wage total war. And magically we're back to the avatar screen. Alright, that's good actually because uh, I said I was gonna give this guy some new... Uh, feet doesn't look comfortable fighting in those. Where are feet? Hands. No. Ah, uh, how about no? There we go. That looks comfy. So I just gonna check something here now. Uh. <laughs> No, actually I won't. Actually, let me just check this. First clan competition. Okay, so I'm still in my <laughs> clan. Uh, actually, I, I'm in a group that have, uh, you know, um, it doesn't have a name, but you know, it's, it has a signature, not, not signature, it have a mark. And because of that, you know, I will actually... Um, <laughs> I will, um, what is it called? Oh yeah, the, the further up you go, the horrible... Through. Okay, actually... There are, there are a few players. More <laughs> than play Warband. Right, so... Oh, wow. Actually, there are a few people still fighting. That's good. That's... That's very, very good. Uh... <laughs> I think the highest I ever got was like... Five, then I like, nah, fuck it, I'm not doing it. Uh, where did I actually end up going? Hello. Where are you? Where am I? Oh well, uh, never mind. My, my clan, there, there we go. So eight and nothing in there. <laughs> I think I have to fight like on the same uh, map 
on the same region twice, I think you have to do. Oh yeah, and then the more you actually take, the more, the less you actually can take because of corruption and logistic. And if you lose, well, you're fucked, buddy. Anyway, you know, I'm, I think that's gonna be a good introduction, and I think I've been playing long enough. So uh, I can uh, thank you all for watching and uh, tune in next time when we're actually going to do a fight. <coughs> a mesh made one because it 